Welcome to today's video. We are going to talk about uh, how to configure your IPv6 on the virtual machine to access in IPv4 network. As you can see, I already have a virtual machine running on IPv6 IP only, which I got from EU server. They providing you a free IPv6 only VPS to use. There's the only IPv6 IP address. You cannot do much. You cannot access in any IPv4 addresses. And you cannot download in anything from IPv4 network. What we're going to do is we're going to configure check service. So check service providing DNS 6.4 conversion and NAT 6.4 conversion for your IPv6 network. That bring a tunnel from IPv6 to IPv4. What you need to do is only configuring name server on that machine. Let's start it. First thing you need to have IPv4 machine. You can log in and then from IPv4 machine you will get the IPv6 IP which I got for my AWS. Then you can jump into this IPv6 machine only to do some configurations. Here it is. As you can see, this is my AWS machine. IP 13.53.173.69 I do have IPv6 enabled on this machine as well. This is my IPv6 IP address. So if you don't know how to get your IPv6 for your AWS virtual machine, you should watch my previous video regarding IPv6 or you can directly Come here and go to action, networking, and manage IP address. Click Ethernet zero, and then assign new IP address for your IPv6. Save it, then you will get uh, automatically assigned IPv6 addresses, which is what we have here. From this AWS virtual machine, we can connect into my IPv6 server. So that's my IPv6 server host name, so we can directly connect to it. Okay, now we can connect to our IPv6 virtual machine directly using the uh, host name. Enter the password to log in. So this is a CentOS machine. And we can confirm we only have IPv6. And we cannot go to those website or pin those URL server which doesn't have IPv6. For example, I have a good example. So we can do pin 
IPv6, Google, because it does have the IPv6 IP, but I have a good one is I have configured on me, which usually show you the IPv4 address you're coming from. But since this doesn't have IPv6 associated with it, it doesn't give you anything. And the DNS settings for this machine, we can take a look. This is default DNS configuration. Now, to get this machine to reach the IPv4 world, we have to change it to tracks DNS, which is providing DNS 6.4 translation, also DNS translation, DNS 6.4 translations. So we need to change DNS settings to those two IP address, two uh, IPv6 address, to using them to resolve the IPv4 to IPv6. We're gonna using echo command to write into those DNS settings into our resolve.configuration file. That's the command. We can check it again. So perfect. Previously, we tried to get the IF config on me, but we can't do that. But now let's take look at it again. It's pingable, and we also can tell what is our IP here. If by curl this website, you will get the IP address. IPv4 address to show you where you come from. So basically, our IPv6 goes to tracks DNS64 to get the IPv4 address, and then the traffic going to forward it to tracks NAT64 translation and get out using this IP to reach the destination. You can try to get um, IP address again. Mr. My IP dot IP dot I at my IP dot IP IP dot net. That should give you your own IP and the location as well, where it's coming from. So you see the IP address, IPv4 address is changing. So after a certain time, they generally using another IPv4 to go out to do the NAT. Is that coming from Finland? And it's from checks.fi. So which is this website, they are providing an AT64 service. That's how you get your IPv6 only virtual machine to reach out to the IPv4 world using checks, DNS64 and NAT64 services. Thank you for watching.